This is Holden Hassel with Equita Final Expense Services and FinalExpenseMastery.com. Go ahead and take a look at my website when you get a chance, FinalExpenseMastery.com. You can actually go ahead and get a lot of value out of this video here. And, and why do I think that? Because it's going to shorten the time that you're going to be spending in the home. So people are going to give you non-buying signals and people are going to give you buying signals. Okay, when they give you non-buying signals, no matter how much it costs or how little it costs, I can't afford it. And you've tried to overcome that objection four or five times. You get down to it and you ask them, you know, well, would something between 80 and $100 make sense? No, it wouldn't. Okay. So for the non-buying signals, when a client's giving you that, you kind of cut in half. Okay, well, would something between 50 and 60 bucks a month make sense? No, it wouldn't. Okay. How about between 30 and $40? Oh, it would. Okay, great. Well, then you could start writing the application. But when they're giving you so many non-buying signals and you recognize that there's no chance that this person's buying, and they've given me these objections or smoke screens, and there's, you know, I handled them the best that I could. I did great. I did the third party validation. I called my upline. I called the agent hotline, got someone on the phone, and they helped me, but they were not buying. Well, that's it. It's a simple process. If they ain't buying, you leave, you get out of the house and go see the next person. Why? Because the next person genuinely needs help and they need life insurance. So the non-buying signals are very important to pay attention to. Next video I'm doing is on the buying signals and what to do as soon as you get those. All right, use that, make some money.